What is up guys, Chris here, Bear Market Mining. Thanks again for stopping by. So today we're gonna to be talking about CPU mining in 2025. Is it profitable? Is it making a loss? Personally, I do not know right now. My CPU mining rigs have been offline for the past couple of months as back then. Uh, everything sort of went into the red and I decided let's just turn it off. Let's simplify my life a little bit. But now I'm keen to find out. So what we're going to be doing over the next week is running a seven day test on six different allegedly profitable coins. Now, this is only by a couple of cents. And by the time we put it into the calculator, it could be saying we're in the red. But today I want to go through what we are mining, what hardware we've got what the current profitability outlook is, if any, and then do a follow-up video seven days later to actually check the results. Because as we know, the calculators almost are always wrong. So I'm gonna run this test, let you guys know what coins are profitable, if any, and you can make a more informed decision if you wanna start mining on a spare CPU or two. So without further ado, let's get into it. All right, everyone, welcome back to the mining room. You'll see we've got some stuff online here, which is nice. Not the GPUs, unfortunately, but we're not talking about those today. All the ASICs, the Doge ASICs, Alephium, Casper ASICs, they're online. And so are our CPUs. We've got three up here. And we've got another four here, but We'll notice one of these is not online. This is a 3900X rig. And for some reason, when I turned it on, uh, it wouldn't turn on. So I did a bit of testing. I tried to take the CPU fan off. And when I took this CPU fan off, the CPU had come with it. So it was stuck to the bottom of the heat sink there. The bracket that holds the CPU down right under here was somehow broken. Um, and these hadn't been touched in about two months. so. That's how things go. You turn them off, you try and turn them back on and all of a sudden they're broken. But these other three are on lime. These are all 5,900Xs, one, two, three, mining a number of different coins, which we'll talk about in a minute when we get back to the computer. But we also up top have another three here. Starting from right to left, we've got a 5950X. That's got a 4070 attached to it. Um, some of you may know what that will be mining, but like I said, we'll discuss that uh, in a minute coming up here. We've also got this 7950X in the middle and right next to it, another 5900X. So we've got four 5900Xs in total over this side and up here. One 5950X, one 7950X. So six in total mining six different coins. So we can start testing this out and find out if anything is actually profitable at a reasonable electric rate like I have here. So that's what we're working with. Six in total. Let's jump on over to the computer and see exactly what we're mining and if it's making any money. All right, so let's look at what exactly we're mining on those six different CPU rigs. So starting top to bottom, firstly on 5900X1, we've got Pulsar coin. This is a relatively new coin using the Minotaur X algorithm, which is a new algorithm for me. I haven't mined on it before, so I thought that would be an interesting one um, to get started on the first 5900X. Number two is Etika or Eddy. Um, that's been jumping up and down as far as profitability is concerned over the last few months, but hopefully maybe something there. On number three, of course, we've got Old Faithful Zephyr. Same again, profitability has been up and down over the last few months, years. It's, uh, it's like a roller coaster Zephyr. One minute it's up, one minute it's down. But that can be said about pretty much everything that we're mining here. Moving on, we've got Salvium. Now, Salvium is now mineable again. It has been mineable for a while, but there have been deposits uh, stopped on a lot of different exchanges. They were doing something, uh, counting the amount of coins, something like that. I'm not exactly sure what they were doing, but there was an audit done basically, which stopped a lot of pools paying out for a while, but that's back up and running now. 
Next along here, if you're familiar with the channel, we've got Warthog, of course. Um, look, not a strictly CPU mineable coin, but I think it might be profitable, so I wanted to throw that on here as well. That is paired with a uh, 4070 I've got on there. So 5950X with a 4070, two uh, very efficient GPU and CPU. So we'll see how that goes. And of course, last but not least, we've got our 7950X on Cubic. Now this is on pay per share. We're not solo mining with this. We're just getting paid out for each share that we mine so we can get a better idea of consistent profitability. So how did I pick my coins exactly? Well, there was no huge rhyme or reason. I went over to hashrate.no. Now I've entered in custom hash rates for my CPUs previously on different algorithms and coins. So basically came down here to the list and saw what are the six most profitable coins or thereabouts, right? So we can see Pulsar coin, Etica, Zephyr, Salvium. I didn't include Monero because, you know, boring. I didn't include uh, Random X either on NiceHash just because I thought it was boring. So I liked Cubic, I liked Warthog. They were the two others that I picked just to make it a little more interesting. And, you know, scrolling down the bottom here, I could already tell that there was going to be no way these were eking out any profit. We're at least at the top here. Um, we're in the green, right? So we're making some profits. Uh, this is at my electric rate. This is at 12 cents. So that's basically um, how we got to what we're mining. Now, let me know if you want me to, uh, if you want me to pick any other coins. I Maybe I might do this weekly, put them all on a single coin or whatnot, and just see how it goes and see if we can actually make any profits at 12 cents US electric rate because times are pretty tough right now, but I'm, I'm really interested to see what these are projecting versus what they will actually make. So let's move along and see what the uh, predicted uh, profitability is just over here on hashrate.no. Now I have got exact numbers for my power draw for my 5900X rigs, my 5950X and the 7950Xs, but I won't show you them exactly today. We'll do that in the next video so we can get an actual comparison. So there's 5900 X's, they're undervolted to around one volt, give or take. Um, they're using about 100 watts, give or take. So 14 kilo hash on a Pulsar coin at 12 cents USD and negative 5 cent profit. Moving on, Etica, we've got 10.1 uh, kilo hash at about 100 watts again, losing a cent again there. Zephyr, around 10 kilo hash again at 100 watts for the 5900X, losing 4 cents. Salvium was our next and last 5900X. Now this is a little bit higher, this 5900X. I think it's around 1.1 volt. I couldn't get it any lower. Um, it was just crashing. So this is getting 11.7 kilo hash also losing two cents. Now, this is at 12 cents electric USD, so a reasonable rate, probably better than a large percentage of people that are gonna get, and I achieved this with my solar, so check out those solar videos if you want any more information. Warthog on the 5950X with that 4070, the total rig's pulling about 230 watts, 774 mega hash it's making, allegedly 14 cents profit so it'll be interesting to see how that one goes and last but not least cubic now using around 19,000 ITs approximately 125 to 150 watts probably closer to that 150 watts but like I said we will test that in fact let's just throw that number in now because um, it will be closer to that regardless losing 21 cents on cubic so all six of these coins are poised to lose me money this week, but we'll just have to wait and see how they go after the seven days are done. So we're looking to lose money this week, depending on if Warthog can carry the whole six CPU mining rigs over the line with a couple of cents profit, but we'll just have to wait and see. So next up, I wanna take a quick look at the current price of each coin and the hash rate to see if we can maybe figure out why these numbers initially aren't looking so hot. 
So first up, if we look at the hash rate of Etika, for instance, so back at the end of November, start of December, we were at about 63 mega hash, but all the way down to 10 mega hash on the whole network. So a huge, huge drop, a 6x drop uh, in hash rate. But if we go over and look at the price, we're also down 57%. So while hash rate is down, the price is also down. So that's what's keeping Etika down below. Moving on, if we look at Pulsar coin now, this is a new coin for me. Um, I'm not sure how long it's been around. It says it's a hash rate of 412 killer hash. Um, and I think I was pulling 10 killer hash. So the network's not very big or mature just yet. So we don't have an idea of how that's tracking as far as hash rate. Um, but if we look at the price right here, down nearly 60%, um, you know, over the last seven days, we don't even have a 30 or 60 yet. So I'm assuming the hash rate has come on, the price has come down, and hence we're currently not profitable according to the calculators. Zephyr, now the hash rate obviously is way, way, way down from where it was all the way back in March, you know, a year ago at this point, 3,284 mega hash, all the way down to 133, 163. So that's a huge, huge drop off. But once again, the price down 60% in the last 60 days and way, way more than that as far as all time highs. I should mention all of these are miles away from all time highs right now. So, you know, you get the picture. Salvium um, was up in December, then it sort of dropped off. I presume that is when people um, sorry, when the exchanges weren't accepting deposits or releasing and the pools weren't releasing deposits due to that auditing process, but it seems to have spiked back up now to about 400. So people are getting back on Salvium. That might be one to look at. Again, um, price, better price action in the past 30 days and seven days. So still down 33% over the 60 day and a long way off, um, you know, as far as all time highs again. Warthog, um, you know, that whole Zegex drama, a lot of people had their coins on Zegex. So I think that's started to slow the hash rate down, but more yield for us. So I'm still mining Warthog on that one rig, as you know, and we see the price is also way, way down, you know, over the last 60 days down 50%. So a huge drop off there again as well. And last but not least, Cubic. Um, you know, this looks like it's been reset again for the e for the epochs. Um, the cubic hash rate jumps up and down depending on epoch. So it, it looks like it's been fairly steady um, depending on this. I would imagine it's down slightly because of course, so is price. Um, I'm holding plenty of cubic at the moment. So hopefully that price can go up. So that's what we are looking at guys. Currently everything is online and mining all on its own pool. So we've got uh, we've got the Pulsar coin over on Cedric Crispin. We've got Etika over on Oxpool. We've got Zephyr, Hero Miners, same with Salvium, same with Warthog. And of course we've got Cubic over here on QLI pool. So it will be interesting to see how we go over these seven days now. As we saw, everything was poised to be making a slight loss of a few cents, except for Warthog, which is supposedly up by about 20 cents or so. Can't remember exactly what the numbers were. I think it was around 20 cents profit after electricity. So there is a chance that this seven day test will result in a profit at 12 cents USD, purely based on Warthog carrying the lot. But as we know, the crypto market is crazy. Some of these coins may pump 20, 30, 40, 100% over the next week, or they could continue to, uh, to keep dipping down into the red like the rest of the market is at the moment, guys. So make sure you like and subscribe. I will have another video out with the results of this test in seven days exactly. Put it in your calendar, put your notifications on, and let me know what you guys think. Which, if any of these coins, do you think will eke out a profit? Or do you think they'll all just be down in the dumps? I'll be losing money once again, CPU and crypto mining in general. That's going to wrap it up, guys. Make sure you like and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one. Peace.